Hello and welcome back to the final video of our Traveler website landing page design and animation. And this is the second time I am recording this video because uh, I record this once and I forgot to record my voice. So I just record the video, not the voice. And this is the second time I'm recording. So make sure to subscribe and share this video. And let's get started. So this is our web page and I'm not going to design this client testimonial section because uh, we have used Swiper.js in our header and it's a, li a little bit complicated to use two different slider in a single page. I am researching on that and I will come up with uh, a solution. But one thing we forgot uh, to add this price tag in our cards, but I did that offline. It's really simple. Uh, right after our country, where is my country? So right after our country, I have added an H1 tag with the class name of price package, uh, package price, and I just gave it a color of uh, war primary, and this is what we come up with. So ignoring this, and we will move on to this photo section without any further delay. I will start writing. So this is again the second time. Footer with the class name of footer and inside that I need container with the class name of footer underscore container. And inside that we need dot footer underscore item. We need a four item so multiply four. And in the first one we have this logo, the title and these icons. So anchor tag with the class name of footer underscore item underscore logo uh, and travelers and right after this we have paragraph with the class name of footer underscore item underscore p and lorem of eight words so dummy text I will open this up sorry And right after this P, we have items, so dot footer, underscore item, underscore items. And inside that we have four SVG icons, so I copy all those SVGs from here, flowbyte.com, so LinkedIn, copy, paste, and we will style those in a minute. And we need Facebook, copy. Based after that SVG and Twitter to so copy this one, paste this after another SVG, and last one is messages, which is messenger. But I'm gonna go with uh, this icon, paste, and this all for the first section. Now let's move on to the second section. And we have H3 with the class name of footer underscore item underscore title, which is company. And right after this, we have a UL with the class name of footer underscore item underscore mm, underscore list. But we don't need uh, any classes for these because we are not going to apply any styling. So just inside LI, we need. UL, we need a lie of four. So the first one is about us. This is my second time, so that's why I know most of the stuff. So about us, pricing. I think the second one, uh, so this is blog. And I think I forgot this. So career, blog, and pricing. And the last one is pricing. And I'm gonna copy this, paste this over here. And this one is uh, destinations. So the first one is, uh, let's go with Oslo, Stockholm, and Las Vegas and Toronto. 
Okay, and in the second one we have a title. So the same, we'll copy this, paste inside, and we have a form right after this. So form action will be nothing. And inside that we have an input with the class name of footer underscore item underscore input. And I will add a placeholder of enter your email. And this uh, title is subscribe our newsletter. So subscribe to my channel too. And the button is anchor tag with the class name of footer underscore item underscore btn. And the text is again subscribe to my channel. Yes, subscribe to my channel too. And right after this one, we have a paragraph again. I will go with the class name of uh, paragraph with the class name of footer item p. And I will copy and paste this text from here. You guys can see I have already selected the text. So copy and paste this over here. Now that's all for HTML. And let's write some CSS. So for footer, first of all, I want um, margin top of 10 rem and dot footer underscore container. I give this a width of 100% and again this will be responsive so I will be using grid copy this grid and paste this over here decrease it to 18 and the grid gap should be 4 save and now you guys will see these items side by side so for the footer, I again I want some background color of uh, this one, but slightly dark, uh, just a little bit. Okay, and container I want some padding for red from the top and bottom, and zero red from the left and right. So you guys can see this, yeah. And this travelers, I'm gonna go and dot footer underscore the logo which font size will be 3.2 rem and the color will be mm, something like this i think we don't have okay footer underscore item underscore logo yeah but now i, I want something like we have h3 for this so instead of an anchor tag i will go with the h3 save and i don't need any styling now so save still doesn't work because this is h2 yeah it looks good now, uh, select these footer icons and inside the this class we have SVG icons. So again, give this a width of 1.6 rem, uh, 1.6 and height of 1.6 rem as well. Save and let's have a look. Yeah, it looks good. But now, this target this P. And I want some margin 1.2 rim from the top and bottom and zero rim from the left and right. So it must have some spacing. Looks good. And now I will copy this SVG. And uh, not the first child. Okay, I will open this up. So not the first child should have margin lift of 1.2 rem. So it has some spacing between this. Yeah. And we are good to go with this one. And this one looks good. This one also looks good. Just uh, we need to style this form. 
so i will target dot form uh, dot footer underscore item and inside that we have a form page so give this a width of 100 percent display of select and dot footer underscore form underscore input so i want padding of 0.7 rem and yeah it looks good but uh, i think we missed spill the class the footer item input yeah footer item input not form so yeah and for the footer item button i want padding of 0.7 ring again and this one will have some same properties so outline for the both will be none and the border for both will be none as well and this button will have background color of war primary and text color of war white safe mm, looks good but this one will have i will decrease the font styling and the font size sorry so again i have a css written for that and font size 1.4 rep try this one and looks good so one last thing is to add some animation go ahead and copy this animation i will open this up but one thing we need to do is to give these items a unique uh, class so hold alt and click next to the item give this a space footer underscore item underscore one so this one will be two this is three and this is four and again i will copy this paste this over here and i want all of them to come from the bottom Mm, save as copy and paste so the second one i just want a delay of 100 and now copy and paste this two times so the third one will have a delay of 150 and the fourth one will have delay of 200 if and refresh uh, we haven't uh, saved our html file save and now this nice animation and this is uh, completely responsive okay it's not now you guys can see it is responsive but uh, first okay i will go to the css and increase the minimum value so 22 save and now this is still not responsive so maybe 24 will work for us yeah 24 is good and in the container i want some default padding from the top and bottom now from the left and right so from the left and right 1.5 save and now so i will decrease it by 23 and 22 22 looks good and you guys can see this is responsive so make sure to subscribe and i will bring this kind of awesome project tutorial in the future thank you so much and see you in the next video